The Patterdale Terrier is an English dog breed just like its cousins. The Airedale Terrier, the Lucas Terrier, and the Smooth Fox Terrier. Patterdales have been known to have descended from the Northern English Terrier breeds of the early 18th century. They're also known by the name Blackfell Terrier. These dogs have a lifespan of 12 to 15 years and the average Patterdales usually weigh 15 to 35 pounds and they have a height of 9 to 15 inches. Now without further ado, let's get into the top 10 most interesting facts about the Patterdale Terriers. Number 1. Their History the origins of the breed can be traced back to the crossbreeding of the Old English Terrier, also known as the original Black Terrier, and now extinct the Northumberland Pit Terrier. The breed was first bred in the Lake District, where they were prized for their hunting abilities thanks to their small size and keen senses. The breed did not gain notability until Cyril Bray, a schoolmaster and huntsman, refined them even further using the best dogs of the Northern England. It is believed that all current Patterdale Terriers descend from the dogs bred by Cyril Bray. They were originally bred to hunt red foxes in the mountains and countryside. Over time, these little terriers became a popular choice both as companion dogs and family pets with many people all over the world thanks to their loyal and friendly natures. Number 2. Their Coat Types Patterdale Terriers come in three coat types, smooth, broken, and rough. The smooth coat features short, glossy hair with the undercoat usually present. The broken coat feels coarse and may feature some longer whiskering around the muzzle and the chin. And the rough coat has overall long hair including her face, ears, and muzzle with a very thick protective double coat. However, all coat types have dense and coarse double coats that are harsh to touch and they're weatherproof as well. Number 3. They are good sport dogs While some owners still use this breed for hunting, present-day terriers are more likely to participate in activities like terrier racing and fly ball. They're also known to do well in dog agility competitions because they are intelligent dogs despite being quite stubborn. Number 4. They are incredibly intelligent and fiercely loyal Patterdales can find virtually anything that you throw at them and they're sure to bring it back. As they were bred for hunting, they have lots of energy and they're excellent fetters. If you love a good game of catch with your dog, Patterdales will never disappoint you. At the same time, they're quite dependable, making them a unique devoted companion. Number 5. They're not good for apartments. As previously mentioned, Patterdales are highly energetic, so even for their small stature, they're much better suited to people that lead an active outdoor life. They require as much of the lead time as possible to be able to express themselves, but only in a safe environment and a secure back garden. Number 6. They do not like being left alone. Patterdales are known to form strong ties with their owners and they never really like being left alone on their own for any length of time. Doing so may lead to them suffering from separation anxiety and when they need to release stress they can get quite destructive and noisy. So if you have to stay away from home for long hours, Patterdales may not be the right breed for you. Number 7. Training Patterdales can get quite problematic. As Patterdales are such stubborn breeds, one must adopt a firm and consistent approach for their training. Frequent food rewards and praises once in a while will help in the process. While they can be trained at home, sometimes they require professional training too. When you're taking your Patterdale for a walk, make sure that no animals follow your dog as he can get aggressive sometimes and try to fight other animals. Number 8. They're likely to be tired easily. Health issues can be a major cause of concern with Patterdales. Even though a regular visit to the vet does help, know that they can develop anything from a pink eye to skin conditions like dermatitis. You must also be aware of portosystemic shunt. Portosystemic shunt is an internal organ issue which is likely to result in the dog being tired and having a low energy level. This is caused when blood that was supposed to go through the liver skirts around it instead. This is a problem for the vet to deal with and while surgery is a rare occurrence, you will probably have to give them pills for life. Conjunctivitis and cataracts are also two major problems to look out for. Number 9. They are susceptible to paddler luxation. Even though Patterdales went through selective breeding, they have not yet escaped the problem of paddler luxation, an issue common to almost all terrier breeds. This condition causes the dog's kneecap to shift out of the place. In most cases, you can learn how to slip the knee back into place without much fuss, but if it becomes frequent, you should take your dog to the vet. Number 10. They are low maintenance dogs. Patterdales don't need much to keep them looking good. Their short, dense fur requires a good brushing just once a week. Exercise is a primary consideration for health, but for looks, a good brushing and a cuddle does the job. 
They don't need to bathe often either, and for oral hygiene, brush their teeth twice a week. You probably won't have to trim their toenails as they'll wear them down naturally. Alright guys, this marks the end of our list of top 10 most interesting facts about the Patterdale Terriers. Are you planning to add these active pooches to your family? If you are, then we definitely vouch for it. If you already own a Patterdale Terrier, do share your experience with us in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. For more interesting facts about other breeds of dogs, click on our channel and subscribe for more. See you guys in the next one.